Hi everyone, this is John Goldblum. Uh, just as background, this is where I am. I'm at the Cleveland Clinic. I trained at the University of Michigan and I developed an interest in uh, soft tissue in my work with Sharon Weiss. And then I also developed an interest in GI pathology in my work with Henry Appleman. Uh, and following my training at the University of Michigan, I came to the Cleveland Clinic in 1993, where I've been uh, since. Uh, I've been the chair of the Department of Pathology since 2002. Um, and I basically practice GI and soft tissue exclusively at this point. Um, so today I wanted to talk about what is clearly the most common topic, at least in our soft tissue consultation practice, and that is fatty tumors. And it doesn't sound like a very exciting topic, but actually it's a very practical topic. Um, because as I said, it seems to cause lots of problems. Uh, to practicing surgical pathologists as it causes problems with us as well, and I'll talk about some of those problems today. Quickly, I just wanted to give an overview of the WHO classification of lipomatous tumors. Now, this classification goes back to, I think it's 2013. The new WHO soft tissue classification will be coming out in the coming year, but until then, uh, I'll be using basically the 2013 classification, although it's very, very similar. Uh, this is a list of the benign lipomatous tumors that one encounters, and uh, fortunately for everyone, about 95% of all fatty tumors that we see are just run-of-the-mill lipomas, and you really don't have to give the case much of a second thought. You can just sort of look at the slides and move on to the next case. But there are some uh, benign lipomatous tumors that do cause a problem. I'm certainly not going to discuss all of these by any means. Just as an example, chondroid lipoma is a, an incredibly rare a uh, benign lipomatous uh, tumor that most surgical pathologists probably won't even encounter in their lifetime. So it's really rare. Um, but the one that uh, pathologists do see quite a bit of is the family of spindle cell and pleomorphic lipoma. That is the most common uh, benign lipomatous tumor that we see as a consult where there's concern for a sarcoma. And I'm going to specifically talk about spindle cell and pleomorphic lipomas in this lecture. Then we have the lipomatous tumors of intermediate malignancy. It's interesting that in soft tissue, at least back in 2013, there was a push to sort of initiate these tumors of intermediate malignancy. And in soft tissue, generally what we're talking about when you categorize a tumor in inter intermediate malignancy is that you have a tumor that frequently recurs and rarely, if ever, metastasizes. And when talking about fatty tumors, the one lesion in this category goes by several names known as atypical lipomatous tumor or well-differentiated liposarcoma. Um, people go back and forth between these terms, but for the purposes of our discussion today, you can consider these terms totally equivalent and synonymous with one another. Um, and it's just important that the person who ever reads your surgical pathology reports knows exactly what you mean. Actually, what I do in practice is I use both of these terms so that anyone reading the report will know what I'm talking about.